What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, we have a brand new official leak for the upcoming Pokemon Presents this Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, which is incredibly exciting stuff. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider joining the Pan Fam today by hitting that join channel member button below. So as everyone knows, we have an official Pokemon Presents. This is gonna be 35 minutes long at 9 a.m. Eastern time this Wednesday on August 8th. And we pretty much talked about in the last video how yes, we are going to be getting a Mewtwo raid. I mean, there's been so many hints at a Mewtwo raid, of course. But I mean, like, I mean, it's the purple logo here, the flashing M. It, it makes sense that it's gonna be a Mewtwo raid for sure. And we saw it from Riddler Coup. We saw it from the in-game code. So when is it actually going to happen? And everyone's guessing, is it gonna be this Pokemon Presents? This is a reminder, Riddler Coup did say it's gonna be a seven star mightiest mark uh, Mewtwo. And then he, you know, tweets out the Pokemon Presents thing here. But now we have official confirmation outside of just the leak code outside of Riddler Coup that we are now getting the Mewtwo raid. So shout outs to uh, Alex here who uh, found this image. But essentially, Nintendo Switch Online is getting an ad. Uh, and this ad says it's from like August 20th, right? August 20th. I don't know if all this stuff is going to be out on August 20th. August 20th, look at my calendar, is going to be, you know, Sunday, like in two weeks from now. But maybe this will actually occur before. But as you notice in the top right hand corner of the screen, that there is a seven star Mewtwo raid. That looks, this looks like a seven star. It could be any, it could be a higher star maybe. But I think the raids in the game only go up to seven. But the thing is, we know it's a Psychic Terra Mewtwo raid, our first official image of the Mewtwo raid. So it is gonna be announced this Wednesday. We don't know when it's gonna start. It could be the next day because raids usually begin, well, they begin on Friday, but if you are in the US, they usually begin at nighttime on Thursday. So that could be a thing. We'll have to just wait and see, but it is officially confirmed now that the next raid series is going to be the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo, and it is going to be Psychic Terra, so prepare your counters accordingly. And of course, I'll give you guys some advice and tips and tricks on how to defeat the upcoming Mewtwo raid. I'm going to tell you this, it's going to be incredibly hard. There's not a lot of great options off the top of my head, but I'll definitely come up with some stuff, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Now, that is not the only thing that we actually see in this image that is incredibly exciting. So we see like two Splatoon things, like that's whatever. We saw the recent re recently released uh, Zelda games on the uh, Game Boy, which are the Oracle Seasons, Oracle Ages. But then we have a game in the top left here, which, you know, this is a little bit you know, confusing for some people. Some people may not recognize this, but, uh, you know, if you had a Game Boy back in the day as a child, you will recognize this from this image as this is hinting at the Pokemon trading card game that was on Game Boy Color, which came with a limited edition Pokemon card. If you didn't know, it actually came with a promo card of the uh, Meowth in it, which is pretty cool. You can still pick those up today. There's about like 20, 25 bucks, depending on the condition. But yeah, this was confirmed a while back. We knew that the Zelda games were coming and the uh, Pokemon trading card game and a Kirby game was coming to Game Boy Color. So it's not like this is a new announcement, but it's something that was announced a while back that is finally coming to this service. I do hope we also see Pokemon Stadium too, because that was announced last year. They come to Nintendo Switch Online this year. So we're gonna have to wait and see if we finally get Pokemon Stadium too, but I think we will. Now you may not know, what is this Pokemon trading card game? It's literally just a Game Boy game of the trading card game. And it looks like this. It's like uh, you walk around, you battle trainers. Pretty cool stuff, honestly. Uh, if you've never played the trading card game, it's like a good, you know, like, at least the old school style. And like the trading card game is a lot more harder than it is back in the day for sure a lot more complicated now but pretty simple games pretty fun i'm definitely very excited to go through it and play through it but this does mean that we are probably not seeing pokemon red blue and yellow or even fire red leaf green the gen 3 games coming to nintendo switch online services in 2023 i think the dream is dead on that guys i'm sorry i do think it's going to be a 2024 thing so it's just there's just no hope for that unfortunately but i mean something you know if you really want to play those old school games you can just download you know, like a really simple emulator on pretty much any of your devices to play any sort of game boy or gba game i mean 
very easy to find the ROMs for that. So definitely, if you want to hit the high seas, I would just recommend doing that. But if you want to play something official, well, we'll be probably be getting this later this month, which is pretty cool. So we got Mewtwo raids for Scarlet and Violet this month. We got the Pokemon TCG game for uh, Nintendo Switch Online this month. And we're going to get a lot of mobile game news, which has never been exciting to me personally. But we also are probably going to be getting a new Pokemon reveal here. And Riller Koo has been hinting at this reveal. So he's talking about the Blood Moon and Zelda. We talked about it in the previous videos. And he's like, which are none of them? Which are like all these dark type, well, three dark type Pokemon. One of them is Lycanroc. The thing is, all these Pokemon have an evolution or have to do with the might nighttime in some way, shape, or form. Like Umbreon evolves at night. Uh, Weavile evolves at night. Lycanroc evolves at midnight. Mightyena does not have a midnight evolution, but it is a dark type. So there is correlation there. Everyone is thinking Mightyena is going to get a new evolution or maybe Poochyena will have a new evolution at midnight or something like that. And then Rillerku put out a new uh, tweet here called Teaser 1. Hype of this Pokemon is at a moonless night in April 2023, Detective Pikachu has failed to get the key to solve that case. Could you help him solve it? So he's talking about Detective Pikachu, which I do think is pretty funny because we are getting a new Detective Pikachu uh, game this year. So I wonder if there's any connection there. But he says a moonless night. So a moon, there's just a complete blackout, like an eclipse and no moon at night. Uh, I do think that this is probably hinting at a new evolution method for one of these Pokemon, which I do think is going to be for Mightyena. So maybe Mightyena will have a new evolution at nighttime when there is no moon out at all. Which I wouldn't be too surprised about that because we have moon evolutions before. Ursa Luna is a moon evolution. So I wouldn't be surprised to get an evolution where there is no moon. But a moonless night means like it's a blacked out moon. The moon is still there, but it's just like there's a shadow over it. So you just can't actually see the moonlight going through it. It would just be interesting. Now the Detective Pikachu aspect of this is pretty interesting. So this is from the actual game. It was a quest within the uh, original game. It says there are three pictures and some sort of instructions written in it. This is a clue to the like, case or what, right? So there's like a full moon, half moon, and then there's the moonless night, right? And something to do with this moonless night, the fact that it's blue is interesting to me. Uh, I Part of me is like, what if a Mighty and an Evolution or whatever a new form is like a dark and a water type? That could be really interesting. That's maybe like the first thing that comes off the top of my head. But I mean, when we thought, think about the moon, maybe another point of view you can think about this as well. What is another type that deals with the moon a lot? And oh, obviously dark types, as we can see here. But another type that deals with the moon a lot is fairy types. I mean, we have a moon a move called a moon blast. I mean, like the fairy Clefable, like the moon Pokemon. So what if Mightyena gets a new evolution that could potentially be like... I mean, it would be weird just to be another dark type. Maybe it's like a dark fairy type. That could be stretching it a bit, but I would like the thing to do like a cool type combination like that. So that'd be really cool. We'll have to just wait and see. But I mean, this is our only hint for now. I do expect Riller Koo to have a new hint out soon. So we may cover that in a future video before the Pokemon Presents. But I do think at the Pokemon Presents, we will be getting a brand new trailer for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. And I do think we will have a reveal of the brand new Pokemon whether it's an evolution of Mariana or an evolution of Poochyena or just a completely different thing or maybe a regional fake. Who knows at this point, but I'm incredibly excited to cover it all. Well, there we have it, guys. That is all the information that we are getting at the moment for this update. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. And like I said, Mewtwo Raid and the Pokemon TCG game come for Game Boy. It's going to probably be the two biggest things that's going to be coming out of from it besides like all the mobile game news and probably the uh, DLC one release date and trailer. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what do you want to see the most. Personally, I really want to see the modifiers on this Mewtwo raid. I'm very excited about that. And there's going to be any special stuff to it outside of the Mew getting the 20% bonus to all its stats that we saw in the data mine. Well, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider joining the Pan Fam today by hitting that join channel member button below. And I'll catch you guys next time in a live stream of the upcoming Pokemon Presents. Peace out and have a great one.